Hello everyone. I welcome you once again to my English class of six. Today I am here with a beautiful poem from your textbook, Hani Sakat. Can you tell me what is this? Can you say this? What is this? You might have played with this. What is this? Yes, this is a kite. This is a kite. Okay, so the name of the poem that we are going to learn today is the kite. It's written by Harry Ben. In this poem, the poet is describing about the life of a kite and how the kite looks like when it is new and what it is doing in the sky when it is flying high up in the sky, the actions of the kite and what happens to it when it is torn? These are the three stages in the life of a child that is the poet explaining in this poem. Okay, so the poet is explaining in the poem how the kite looks like when it is new and the actions of the kite when it is flying high up in the sky and what happens to it when it is torn. So let us read the poem. Take your textbook. Page number is 27. The name of the poem is The Kite. It's written by Harry Ben. Okay, first let me tell you about the poet Harry Ben. He was an American screenwriter and he was a children's author. Okay, he was writing poem for children. So let me read this. All of us like to fly kites. Have you ever tried to fly one? I guess everyone has tried once in their life. So let me read the poem. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. With a dive and a deep, it snaps its tail. Then soars like a sheep with only a sail. As our tides of wind it rides, climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls, then seems to rest as wind falls. When string goes lag, you bend it back and run until a new breeze blows, and its wings fill and up it goes. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. But I like to think you never will see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree. So this is the poem. And I told you, in this poem, the poet is describing about the life of a kite. So the first line you can see that how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. So in this picture, can you see this picture? In this picture, you can see how the kite looks like. How the kite looks like? It's very bright and it's very beautiful to see. Isn't it? So it looks white, very bright in different colors like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. So it has different colors and it looks very bright. And what is the background of this kite? What is this? Yes, this is a blue sky. It's a clear blue sky. There are no clouds. That is why it is clear blue sky. Okay. So this sky, it looks very colorful and it looks very beautiful. It's uh, wonderful to see this bright kite in this blue sky when it is new. So when it is new, it is flying high up in the sky. And it's very beautiful to see. That is the poet saying in the first two lines. So with a dive and a jeep. So it, it looks very beautiful as it is going up in the sky, in the blue sky. With a dive and a jeep, it snaps its tail. So if you have time uh, to fly the kite, what will it do? Sometimes it will not move up. Okay, first time it will come down. 
So like that way it will take a dive when you are doing it for the first time and even with many people who are experienced also, first it will not move up, okay, it will come down. So it will take a dive. So what are the actions it is doing in the sky when it is flying high up in the sky? What are the actions that we are doing? First I told you, first two lines, how it looks like. It looks like very beautiful, very bright, a colored one. And it gives us a, a beautiful look also. Okay, so here uh, in this, the next lines it is saying about the actions. What uh, what are the actions it is doing in the sky? So it takes a dive when it's doing when it is uh, trying to fly. It will come down. So that, that's what the part says. It takes a dive and a dip. So the actions uh, the part uh, the uh, it is doing by the by the guide is first one, it takes a dive. Okay, it takes a dive. Then what it is doing next? And it takes a dip. Dip means that a bend. It takes a bend. It, it comes down to the ground. Okay, if you are doing for the first time, uh, it will not move up. Okay, we will not be able to move it up for the first time and also it will come down. Then it will take a dip. It will take a dip. It will bend down to the ground. It will dip to the ground. So the next action it is doing. What it is doing? It takes a dip. Okay. Then it snaps its say, tail. It snaps its tail. So what is doing? We are, when we are flying the kite, it will uh, the uh, you can see this thread. Can you see the uh, thread of the kite? Okay, the thread of the kite, uh, can you see? And uh, when you are doing this for the first time, uh, what will it do? It Sometimes it makes a sound. Okay, when it comes down, when it uh, comes down, sometimes it will not be able to fly the kite up. So it comes down, it will come down. So uh, it makes a sound. This thread, its tail. The thread is uh, actually the tail of the kite. Okay, so it still makes a uh, sound. Sometimes it breaks also. Even the thread breaks also. So that sound is called it snap. It snaps. Okay, snaps. So next one snaps. It makes a it makes a sound that is known as snaps. Okay, so what are the things it's doing? It takes a dive. It takes a dip, and it snaps. Okay, it snaps its tail, it snaps its thread, that tail is here the thread. Then, soars like a ship. Then here, the poet says that, it soars like a ship. So here, the poet compares, poet compares the kite with a ship. Okay, so here the kite with the ship. The moment of kite with the the moment of a shape. So it is source. The next action it is doing is that it source. It source. It flies high up like a ship. And how the ship is uh, sailing or how the ship is uh, uh, soaring up in the sea. Now we can see next. Then source like a ship with only a sail. Sail here means, uh, uh, here in this picture you can see sail, actually this this triangular piece of uh, material, that is, that is the sail of the kite. But actually the sail of the ship is uh, uh, that a piece of cloth or a material that is uh, extended on a mast, on the mast of a ship to catch the wind to uh, move the ship, okay, in order to catch the wind forward. To move the ship, to push the ship forward. That is sail. Okay, so here uh, with the sail, with the sail, how the ship is moving? Where the ship is moving? The ship is moving over the tides. Like next line, we can see as over tides. So tides is actually the uh, the rising and falling of the sea. Okay, rising and falling of the sea, and uh, the, this waves, the movement of these waves are called tides. Okay, the movement of this, uh, uh, the movement of the sea is uh, rising and falling of the sea, rising and falling of the sea. So the ship, ship is moving 
ship is here the ship is moving okay ship is uh, moving uh, through this uh, uh, in the sea how it is moving it wants to come down then go uh, then up it uh, it wants to comes up then comes down then it will fly high okay so here so the like like that way the our she our kite it is also moving uh, according to the uh, the what according to the blowing of the wind okay the uh, the who wants to move the kite it's also moving in the air it is uh, moving up fly it is flying high up in the sky according to the movement of the wind okay so as over tides of wind it rides so, so it is riding so here it soars like a ship and how the how the you you have seen in, uh, in the movies and all you have seen uh, Uh, the ship is uh, moving uh, in the sea, and it is uh, uh, moving uh, when when the sea is uh, falling and when the waves are falling, uh, rising and uh, falling. Okay, when the waves are uh, rising and falling, and what is moving? The ship is uh, moving in the sea. You have seen that in the movies and all. So here, yeah, uh, like that way, uh, the kite is also moving up and down, and then it will move up and down. according to the movement of the wind then uh, it rises so, so the next action it is doing it rises with the it rises with the wind it rises with the wind and what it is doing it climbs to the crest it climbs climbs to the crest okay what is crest crest is actually the top position of a a, a, a a steep rock okay or a top portion of a, a cliff or a, a top of a mountain or hill okay so here so here uh, the kite it is uh, climbing up climbing up and and what climbing up the hill and uh, of a gust and pulls so if the moment of the wind is uh, uh, in the north direction the what what the uh, kite will do the kite will move in the north direction and if the movement of the wind is in the south direction and the kite will also move to the south direction so according to that it will uh, according to the movement of the wind it will automatically move to that uh, direction so and then it uh, uh, then uh, with the wind with the help of the wind it also moves up the and it also climbs up the mountain it also comes up the uh, uh, what the top of the mountain uh, it here the part means that it is a uh, flying high up very 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 high it is a uh, flying uh, in the sky okay high up in the sky like that it is touching the sky we can see that uh, when uh, the fly when the kite is flying in the sky uh, it is uh, just touching the sky in that in that much height uh, the kite is flying the poet is saying of a gust and pull so here uh, with us with the help of a wind with the help of uh, the sudden a uh, strong wind it is uh, pulling forward uh, what what the what the uh, kite is uh, going forward kite is moving forward and when spring goes slack you wind it back if there is good wind if there is uh, good wind the kite uh, will move up okay the kite will fly up but if the wind is slow or if no, there is no wind if there is no wind if the wind is quiet what will happen to the kite it will take rest okay it seems to take rest so if there is strong wind it will move up and up and up and it will uh, go high and high and i very in very high it will go uh, but uh, if the when they, there is no wind it actually the kite needs wind okay kite needs wind to move up so if there is no wind if the wind is quiet the kite will not move up it will never dance it will it will uh, never go up it will take rest so at that time we can see that the kite takes rest then and run until a new breeze blows so then you have to wait you have to wait for a new breeze so you have to wait for a wind uh, to blow it uh, you have to wait for a wind to blow it 
to fly the kite. Okay, you have to wait for a wind to fly the kite. And its wings fill and up it goes. So here the, uh, actually, the poet uh, tries to compare the kite with a, what, with a, uh, with a bird. Okay, with the bird. Uh, because uh, uh, how how the bird starts its flying it will first it will when it is start when it is started to fly it will spread its wings in order to fill the uh, air in the wings and if the air is filled in the wings it will start flying so the kite also the same way the boy says that the kite also in the same way after filling the air in its uh, cloth or in its that triangular part what will it do it will start flying and its wings fill and up it goes after in the air in the wings of the what, what is the wings here the wings you can see this is the wings after filling the air in the wings uh, what will it do it will it will go up it will fly high in the sky then how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new so we can see that uh, how bright how beautiful how colorful how beautiful how colorful the kite uh, when it is a uh, flying high up in the sky how it is how it, it looks very beautiful and this look gives us a good uh, uh, comfortable uh, feeling for us also when it when we look at this sky uh, uh, we feel very good at our heart but a random thing you never will see but a random thing i uh, have written here when it becomes random what is the meaning of random here when the poet sees a uh, uh, but a random thing you never will see here the poet tries to say that random is actually a torn when it be, when it is torn okay torn when it is torn uh, so when it is uh, torn when this becomes ragged when it is torn or uh, the kite here the poet says that the kite is dead actually so the poet when he says this lines he feels very sad uh, the tone of the poet is very sad here he said that but a ragged thing you never will see uh, here the poet says that after our after our uh, hard work we will feel very tired and our uh, body becomes very weak and uh, we feel pain in our body also and the same way uh, uh, so uh, the kite also becomes so tired of flying so uh, it did many things in the sky what are the things it did uh, in the sky it, it first it uh, soars high up in the sky and it uh, takes a dive and it takes a deep then it snaps its tail then it is so so then it again soars up in the sky then it rides with the wing and then it climbs up the climbs up the hill okay so it, 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 it is doing this many actions so after this actions this kite is actually tired of flying so what happened it becomes ragged so it has torn now the uh, condition of the kite it is torn so you never will see uh, so here the pause is that you not love to see such a kite such a torn kite would you like to see the car, uh, to fly or would you like to fly a torn kite no what will you do you will go and purchase an another one and you will start flying it because you love to see uh, uh, flying a new uh, be and beautiful kite and you uh, you are uh, we all uh, we all uh, do not love to uh, fly a torn kite and we all would not love to see a torn kite also so the airport says that you never will see you would not love to see uh, flying a, a torn kite and when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree so when it flaps flaps means that when it is hanging on a top of tree how it is hanging because it is it is stuck somewhere on the top of the tree the kite is stuck somewhere on the top of the tree so uh, if we uh, here the poet is trying to say as that the kite becomes weak torn and it becomes so tired so uh, and it is also stuck on the top of the tree so the power says that you would not love to see such type of tom kites and you would not love to uh, love to fly the such type of kites also and uh, here the power says that it is stuck over the top of the tree it is stuck on on the top of the tree somewhere on the top of the tree also
So I uh, so here we uh, studied about how the kite looks like in the blue sky. It uh, it is very beautiful. It uh, looks uh, bright, colorful. It gives a different look for us, and it is very wonderful and beautiful to see also. And the actions uh, ha uh, are done by the kite when it is flying high up in the sky. What are the actions? It takes a dive, it takes a dip, and it snaps, it soars high up in the sky, it rides with the wind and it climbs up the mountain. So it, it has it did many uh, actions. And other actions it is done, it takes rest and it flaps. Okay. So here, yeah, uh, uh, these are the actions done by the kite. And then when it is flying high up in the sky. Then when it becomes a rat, what happens to it? You will never hear the possible. You never will see. It means that you will not love to see such type of tone kites. Okay. So when it becomes a rat, what happens to it? So this many, this many things are described by the poet in this poem. And uh, one more thing I told you. The kite is compared with the shape. Okay. The kite's movement is compared with the movement of the shape. So this here, uh, look at the line 5. Then soars like a shape. So, like here, the part used like to compare the movement of the uh, movement of the kite with the shape. Okay, so this poetic device is called simile. Okay, the poetic device used by the poet in this form is called simile. Actually, what is simile? Comparison between two things using the words as or like okay so in this form the first, uh, fifth line you can see the comparison between the movement of a ship and the movement of a kite so here boy compared uh, here the ship with the kite so this comparison is called simile this is a poetic device the comparison between two things using the uh, words as or like it is called simile so let us look some more examples is as brave as a lion okay so here the part compares him to the lion okay so uh, using the words as then like So here, her eyes shine like diamonds. You can see uh, here the poet uh, compares her eyes to diamonds. Okay, using the word like. Here use the word as. Okay, so here the comparison between two things using the words as or like is called simile. It is a poetic device. Okay, so her eyes, her eyes compared to diamonds. And she sings like an angel. You can see she uh, looks like an angel. And he is as cunning as a fox. And she smiles like a monkey. And she slept, uh, she slept like a log. Okay. So uh, this, uh, th actually this poetic device is used by the poet in this form. That is called simile. Okay. So there is the comparison between two things using the words like as or, as or like. Okay. And uh, the uh, here one example he is as brave as a lion. I told you he is as cunning as a fox. And uh, she, her eyes shone like and the baby's arms are very soft like the uh, velvet. Like velvet. Okay, baby's arms are very soft like velvet. We can say like that. So comparing using as or like that is called simile. So I hope you understood this form. Thank you.